Hi guys, it's Jennifer Perkins. I am so excited to be here with you today on the Treetopia Facebook page sharing a really fun ice cream themed DIY project. You might have noticed the nine foot tall, gorgeous pink Treetopia tree behind me. Well, when they asked me to decorate a tree for National Ice Cream Month, and yesterday was National Ice Cream Day, I kind of needed to take matters into my own hands. It's hard to roll up to the store and find ready-made ice cream ornaments. Being the crafty gal I am, that was no hill for a stepper, and I made several like this guy, and I'm gonna be showing you one almost every single day this week. Today I'm here on the Treetopia page, tomorrow I'm on my page, at Jennifer Perkins. Wednesday I'm back here with Treetopia. Hi Vicki, thank you for watching, and Friday I am back on my own page at Jennifer Perkins. So here is this super cute ice cream in a cup. Looks good enough to eat, but unless you think styrofoam is tasty, kinda wouldn't recommend it. Something else I wanted to tell you before we get this DIY started is I am gonna be have I'm gonna have a giveaway for you of a hundred dollar gift certificate to Treetopia, and I'm gonna tell you how you can win it at the end of the video. So stay tuned. Learn how to make some ice cream cuteness. Share this with a friend. Tag a friend. I appreciate all those shares, all those thumbs up. They really, really mean a lot. So let's get started. So let's see. Hi, Carrie. So cute. Thank you for watching. Well, you're going to love how we make these. So the first thing you need is said ice cream cup. Now they have these at a lot of different stores around. You can kind of get them anywhere. You can paint your own. They're just little paper cups but you need your ice cream, right? Well, you can't put real ice cream on a tree, so I had to make my own. So the next thing I got is styrofoam. Now you can get this smooth foam or you can get that bumpier kind of styrofoam. It's totally up to you. Bumpier is cheaper. Smoother tends to look more flat when painted. This is bumpy, this is smooth. It doesn't really matter. The, the, what does matter is you want one that's roughly the size of the ice cream cup you're gonna use. Now you could use a whole ball inside your ice cream cup if you wanted to, right? Because it's kind of the perfect height. But the thing about it is, is these little babies are expensive and frankly, I am frugal, so I don't wanna do that. So what I did is, I got my ball and I got a knife. You could use a craft knife or you know just a serrated knife and these things cut in half really easy. So just cut it in half. The problem is once you cut it in half, I've got this one over here that's already painted. It kind of, now it's too short, right? Not for long. Insert every crafter's handy dandy empty spent tube from your paper towels or your toilet paper. This is what is going to bump this up so that it looks again like ice cream. Let me show you what I mean. And again, if you are just tuning in, let me remind you, we are making these adorable faux ice cream cone ornaments. They are super cute, super easy. And every day this week, except for Thursday, I'm gonna be showing you how to make a different ornament. And I'm gonna have a different giveaway. Like I said, $100 at the end of this baby. So pay attention, I'm gonna tell you how to win it. So over here, I've got my cup and I use this paper towel tube and I cut it down to the right size and I glued it in here just with a piece of hot, just with some hot glue, nothing fancy. And then now my ball fits right on top. Thank you for those hearts and those thumbs up. Remember, if you have a friend that is feeling the ice cream and perhaps maybe they're on a diet and they can't have real ice cream to celebrate, celebrate National Ice Cream Month, Go ahead and tag them. Sharing is caring. They'll appreciate it. So now I have this, right? And it's the right height. It's perfect. So let me show you what I did next. At this point, if you want to add in your little spoon, and who wouldn't? Perhaps a paper straw. Now is your moment. I have these little spoons, and I am just going to use regular old hot glue and attach this. So this is nothing fancy. You could use regular craft glue. I just like hot glue because it goes fast. So just kind of attach it in there, right? Just so your spoon is kind of like hanging out and it looks like there's a spoon in your container. That's all we're looking for. Hi, Chris. Thank you for sharing the video. I really appreciate it. So here we go. I'm going to put more hot glue right on top of that spinch roll that we talked about. And all that roll is doing is kind of like elevating our fake ice cream. 
So I'm gonna put that styrofoam ball right on top. And there you go, now it's the right height. So obviously somewhere in there, I painted it. I just used regular craft paint like this to paint this. And like I said, this is with that bumpier foam, which is a little cheaper than the smooth foam. But the smooth foam will look, you know, perfectly smooth like a ball of ice cream if you wanted to. But I figured, you know, there's a gazillion of them in a tree. Who's going to tell if it's smooth or if it's bumpy, right? So I have it in there and see now it's attached. But now I need my pink sauce on top, right? So what I did for that is I used more craft paint. And now this is just regular craft paint and I watered it down a little bit. This, you could also use like a pouring medium if you had that, but you don't need to get that fancy. Water will just, will work just fine. You just don't wanna water down the color. You don't want the color to start looking transparent, but you want it like extra liquidy. And I'm gonna show you why. Here we go. So you're gonna just kind of pour it on top here, just like so, and then kind of get some little like river action started. Can you see how that's happening? And it's starting to look like you took this up to the counter and said, give me a Sunday." see? And when you add a little bit of water, that's where it gets that kind of ooey gooey pouring effect, like so. So, thank you for that thumbs up, I appreciate it. So you've got your pour, but, Every time you go get ice cream, if you're gonna go get an ice cream sundae, you're definitely gonna opt for the whipped cream. I just got a milkshake yesterday and they said, do you want whipped cream? And I wanted to say, do people not want whipped cream? Like, if I'm gonna go this far, I, I should just go this far and just get the whipped cream, right? So of course we want to, but again, you cannot use real whipped cream. So what is a crafty girl with a nine foot tall pink Treetopia tree and an ice cream theme to do? Well, I'll tell you what you do. You get some Decoden, which is really cool and really fun stuff. I just got it for the first time for this project and I'm kinda in love. If you've ever piped icing and used the different tips, it's the same kind of stuff, except it's clay. It's a little thinner, it's a little more malleable, and it's a little more easy to work with. And it comes at the craft store in a bag like this. You can get it in white and you can get in in pink. And then the other thing it comes with is with a couple of different tips, piping tips, just like you were gonna do icing. I went with the star tip. So all you do is just put your tip on, really super easy, and this is kind of addicting, and you squeeze it. So if you've ever done any kind of icing piping on a cookie or a cake, really, this is just the exact same thing. So I have my paint on there, right? So I'm gonna go like this. Now technically, I am doing this a little bit sooner than I did before. When I did this previously, I let the paint completely dry and then I went in with my icing. But you know, for the sake of time, we're gonna just do this all at once. So you just would go all the way around the edge and you can see it's making those beautiful little pipe spots. You just kind of get real close to it and then pull, just like that. Let's see, can you see? Let me do this one. Super close and then pull, and it's gonna give it that really, you know, realistic ice cream look. I think this is what really sets it off, if you're asking me. Of course, you know, the styrofoam ball is cute and all, but you know, like I said, why would you say no to whipped cream? So the next part, let's see if this actually works. I did a big dab on the top. Now this, is where I am gonna use some real food products. And if you're worried about bugs or rodents when you wanna store these, because let's say you wanna do this theme again at Christmas. A lot of people do a sweet tree Christmas, or a sweet, a sweet treat tree at Christmas. Try to say that five times fast. That is like a Christmas tongue twister is what that is. Hi Carrie, looks good enough to eat. I totally agree. I had to like tell my kids more than once that these were not actually edible. So like I said, I'm using real sprinkles for this part, but when you put these up in the attic, I have several things that use real food products. You can see up here, I have actual ice cream cones on some of these ornaments, and we're gonna talk about those later in the week during our week-long ice cream social palooza action. But all you need to do really is put them like in a Ziploc bag, like a big bag, and then maybe put them inside a storage box with a lid to keep them safe from things like bugs or rodents if you're worried about it. 
So, real sprinkles. If you don't have real sprinkles and you wanted to use like maybe seed beads, like little bitty baby beads, you could do that too. So now this is gonna attach to the paint, which is why I said I painted and then I iced before. But while your Decoden or your collage clay is wet, you wanna go in and you wanna sprinkle sprinkle your sprinkles. And so it's kind of like when you put glitter on top of wet glue, it's the same kind of thing. I'm gonna put it up here too, right on top. And it's gonna to stick to the paint. It's gonna to stick to your little whipped cream doodly bob at the top. And then at this point, that is also when you add your pom-pom cherry on top, because of course you do. Stick that down in there. And there you go, presto magic, delicious, make a bunch, depending on the side of your tree. You know me, I have a tree for every holiday, so it's not like ice cream month was a stretch for me. I was pretty excited for a theme to roll with. But I fully plan on busting these babies back out come December for a fun little tree at Christmas. So I promised you a giveaway. And what I want you to do is you have 24 hours to answer in the comments. Leave us a note and let us know what your dream Treetopia tree is. And we are going to gift somebody a $100 gift certificate to Treetopia that you could use towards your the tree of your dreams. Have you always wanted a pink tree? Have you always coveted the giant candy corn tree? Is a silver tinsel retro style more your thing? 24 hours, leave us a comment and we will pick a lucky winner. Don't forget, this time tomorrow, five o'clock, over on my Facebook page, at Jennifer Perkins, I will be there and I will be live making a totally new ice cream ornament, something different, something fun. I will have another giveaway Wednesday. I will be right back here at five o'clock on the Treetopia page, and then Friday on my own page again. All four days are going to have a different DIY. They're going to have a different giveaway. And I hope that you can join me. And again, if you have a friend that might like this ice cream ornament and you want to tag them or you want to share this post, we always, always, always appreciate it. And I hope you leave us a comment about your favorite treat. I can't wait to see what you say. All right, everybody. Thank you for watching and I'll see you tomorrow.